and every day, you know, it, prognosis got better and better, and to see her where she is today is, is amazing. But an amazing recovery, but still a long road ahead for a then 12-year-old girl who fell 100 feet from a thrill ride in Lake Delton. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Susan Simon. For the first time, we're hearing from Tegan Marti about what she remembers that tragic day four months ago. News 3's Mark Lovacott has been following the story ever since and joins us now with the latest, Mark. It's pretty remarkable what this little girl has been through over the last four months and how well she is doing now considering what happened. The Marti family says while they're happy with her progress, they'd be much happier if this never happened at all. Reach for that and put it in the middle. Tegan Marti now struggles to become the girl she was four months ago. Keep going. Three hours a day, five days a week, okay. she's at the yeah, South Florida Rehab Center because of what happened on July 30th. We still don't know what deficits she's going to have. Thank God, she, you know, cognitively she's superior. She has no brain injury, which is a miracle. Tegan fell 100 feet from this thrill ride in the Dells. The ride operator, Chuck Carnell, admits he blanked out and released her too early. Barely able to talk, Tegan tells the CBS Early Show she doesn't remember a thing. What is the, the first thing that you remember? Waking up in the hospital. That was American Family Children's Hospital in Madison. She later was moved to a hospital in Florida and then went home just a few weeks ago. Her family says it's been a long road, but they know from what they've seen, their daughter will succeed. It's been tough, but she, she just wants to walk again. She wants to do things again. So it, I think she's focused on that as well. Julie Marti says she blames Chuck Carnell for her daughter's injuries, and she says a fail-safe should have been in place to prevent something like this from happening. Plain and simple, she says the laws need to be tougher. Mark Lovacott reporting tonight. Mark, thanks. Sure. And the Martis have reached a settlement with Extreme World, but details have not been released. As for the ride operator, Charles Carnell, he faces up to 25 years in prison for that accident. He has said that he, quote, blanked out, as Mark said, and he admits that proper safety protocol was not followed when he released Tegan. She fell 100 feet to the ground below when a net should have caught her. He represents a, a class of people who are given an awesome responsibility, and they just can't be, uh, quote, blacking out or not concentrating or whatever it might be. Stuart Grossman, the Martis family attorney, says they're also seeking legal action against the actual manufacturer of the ride. News 3 did reach out to Charles Carnell for an interview, but he and his attorney declined comment.